understand, engage, civicate. Welcome. In today's video, we are going to talk about civil liberties and civil rights in America. Even though they are related and people use them interchangeably, they are not the same thing. We will explain the differences because this is such an important topic. Let's start by talking about civil liberties. Civil liberties are freedoms that people have as part of their natural rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Because the government cannot take away those rights, civil liberties limit the power of the government. Civil liberties are listed and described specifically in the Bill of Rights. So the right to free speech, freedom of religion, and the right to a fair court trial, for example, are civil liberties. They are protected by Supreme Court cases. There is more information about the Bill of Rights in our video on the Constitution. Even though the Constitution tried to ensure civil liberties would be preserved for every citizen, groups of people, especially African Americans, did not have basic rights until the Constitution was amended. Also, there have been state laws that sometimes limited basic rights, such as voting. Over the years, the Supreme Court has been applying the Bill of Rights to the states case by case through a process called selective incorporation to ensure that state laws offer citizens the same liberties guaranteed in the Constitution. Now, almost the entire Bill of Rights has been applied to the states. Now, let's talk about civil rights. Civil rights are legal rights that keep individuals and groups free from discrimination. American history has many examples of groups of people who have suffered discrimination due to gender, race, religion, age, disabilities, or other factors. Discrimination can prevent groups of people from getting jobs, homes, a good education, or access to public facilities. Protecting the rights of a minority has been difficult at times in our democracy because the definition of democracy is that the majority rules. But if the majority is oppressing a minority, the federal government has needed to correct the situation with amendments to the Constitution, laws, policies, and Supreme Court decisions. Civil rights first received attention in the 19th century with the passage of the 13th Amendment that abolished slavery, the 14th Amendment that gave citizenship, due process, and equal protection under the law to everyone in the U.S., and the 15th Amendment that gave all men the right to vote. But not all laws and decisions advanced the cause of civil rights. In 1896, the Supreme Court's Plessy v. Ferguson decision allowed for racial discrimination by permitting separate but equal public facilities, including schools. But of course, the facilities were not equal. It was a step backwards because it encouraged segregation and discrimination. African Americans were fighting for their civil rights for decades, in the 1950s, they finally started to win. Brown v. Board of Education in 1954 required school desegregation. A year after Rosa Parks sparked the Montgomery, Alabama bus boycott, the city of Montgomery was forced by the Supreme Court to integrate its buses in 1956. Another key figure in these efforts was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., an inspirational speaker who organized a coalition of black pastors and led much of the effort for civil rights until his assassination in 1968. The Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, and the Fair Housing Act of 1968 were major pieces of legislation that worked to outlaw segregation and discrimination against African Americans. Even with these court decisions and national laws, the changes that needed to happen to protect civil rights have been difficult. School desegregation was only accomplished with serious federal government intervention, for example. Even today, much needs to be done to improve racial justice. Women did not get the right to vote until the 19th Amendment passed in 1920. Many other groups have fought and continue to fight for equal treatment under the law. Even with all the progress that has been made in the last two centuries, civil rights and civil liberties are relevant to our lives today. A modern example of the difference between a civil right and a civil liberty is if you have a job and your company is going to choose one person to promote to manager. You do not have a civil right to the promotion, but you do have a civil right to make sure that your boss does not base the promotion 
on your race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, or age. You have to be considered fairly with all the other employees. If you do not get the job and you decide to write a negative article about your company, you have a basic right or civil liberty to express your opinion through free speech. Thanks for joining us.